My name is Bethany Davis, and the topic that I have for my oral report re presentation is the Seneca, Seneca Falls Convention. Um, so the Seneca Falls Convention is a convention of women um, in 1848, and the purpose of it was for women to come together to stand up for their beliefs and um, stand up for their rights as well. And this took place in Seneca Falls, New York, hence the name. Um, this topic relates to our course because it is um, a very impactful event that happened in our history and that the literature from it has influenced and helped many women in future generations and that both of these things left um, a lasting impact. Um, so the Seneca Falls Convention was organized by Eliz Elizabeth Caddy Stanton and Lucre Lucretia Mott and together the, the two they were with their husbands and they wanted to go to a world anti-slavery convention and they were not allowed to because they were both women and so together the two um, arranged this meeting and um, Elizabeth Caddy Stanton she wrote what's called the Declaration of Sentiments um, this declaration is a statement of grievances and demands that um, called women essentially to stand up for their beliefs and to petition for their rights. So she gathered that together and it was a bold statement, especially for back then. And it gathered like 300 women together to vote, to go over their rights and to say that Essentially, they wanted their voices to be heard. Um, they were, Elizabeth and Lucretia, she, they were all joined by three other women who helped organize a convention, and their names are Mary M. Clinton, or Mary McClintock, Martha Coffin Wright, and Jane Hunt. So all five of those women joined together, had a bunch of women come, and again, essentially stand for their rights. Um, the first night there were all women, but then the second night of this convention, they opened it up to men as well. Um, the Declaration of Sentiments also kind of took on a lot of the Declaration of Independence, and they, it stated like, um, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men and women are created equal, and stating their rights, what they believe, what they believe in, that they should all be equal. And it eventually led, that, that declaration eventually led to the 19th Amendment in the Constitution that women can vote. But it took a little while to get there. Um, the Declaration of Sentiments stated that there were abuses and absorptions that could ruin a woman's confidence in her own power, her, quote, confidence in her own power to lessen her self-respect and to make her willing to lead a dependent and abject life. Um, so the convention itself, there were, it passed 12 resolutions, um, but at all of these 12, uh, 11 of those resolutions were passed anonymously. But the ninth resolution, which was to give the women um, rights to vote, that caused a lot of issues and it caused a lot of um, just uh, just a bunch of different issues and some people backed away from it they they fell to ridicule and the many supporters left because of that and there was a lot of conflict over it and they withdraw their support on that but through time we can see that women kept fighting for their right to vote and that led to again the 19th amendment being passed and it continued we continue on to see that in effect today um There was a quote that says, We are assembled to protest against a form of government existing without the consent of the governed, to declare our right to be free as man is free, to be represented in the government which we are taxed to support, to have such disgraceful laws is, as give man the power to chastise and imprison his wife, to take the wages which she earns, the property which she inherits, and, in case of separation, the ch children of her love. That was by Stanton herself. Um, so in conclusion, this relates to our course because 
the statement of the declaration of, of um, sentiments uh, is a big impactful piece of our history and piece of literature that has affected many generations of women and that these the Stanton this um convention has allowed generations of women to be free and me myself as a woman I can now vote when I'm old enough and they just left this impactful dent in our history which in, is good um it's a continuous chain that we can see impacts it's, we can see it impacting our lives today